time. I want to thank the members of the v &A executive team and board members here this evening, and certainly the Dinner Dance Committee uh, for this honor. I am truly humbled by this nomination. I want to thank all of you gathered here this evening for attending the 8th Annual Holiday Dinner Dance to support the Busy Nurse Association Hospice Program. I've been fortunate as a board member to work with the administration and dedicated nursing staff for almost 10 years. The VNA does such wonderful work across the entire state of New Jersey. You know, when I started a few years ago, we were pretty much settled in uh, Monmouth and uh, Middlesex, but uh, now with the work that Mary Ann started and certainly the work that Stephen has uh, brought to the VNA, we uh, can really state that we are the VNA for the state of New Jersey. We provide comprehensive home health care, many community services, and the hospice care program. The hospice team provides compassionate care to address the physical, emotional, and spiritual needs of terminally ill patients in the comfortable surroundings of their home and families. I would like to express gratitude to my family here tonight, including my wife, Jean, my daughter, Caitlin, with her husband, Kevin, who thankfully returned from three and a half wonderfully successful years in London and are our roommates this month, which is awesome. <laughs> and my daughter, Lauren and Rory. My sons, Michael and Joseph, and their wives cannot join us tonight as they prepare for final exams in medical school and law school. To my mother and Frank, who braved this uh, nasty weather, sorry, these last couple of days to come up from the warmth of Hope Sound, Florida, to join us here this evening. My sister and brother and uh, their wives, and my special aunts. And also my, uh, where are they? My, uh, there's one. <laughs> the, the Larson, my sister-in-laws, who uh, never miss a party like this in spring life. <laughs> but, uh, I've been blessed with the most wonderful family where each week brings new excitement and adventure. I first became interested in medicine after my father suffered an unfortunate heart attack at just 40 years of age. I had planned early on to become an adult cardiologist but one special night during my senior year of medical school changed everything. A sick infant was brought to the emergency room with difficulty breathing, and pneumonia was suspected. A chest x-ray, however, showed an enlarged heart, and the ER physicians thought that a pediatric cardiologist should be summoned. Dr. Leon Kamides, the chairman of pediatric cardiology at the Hartford Hospital, was called in. He brought this critically ill infant to the cath lab, performed an angiogram where we inject dye into the heart to define the heart abnormality and made a diagnosis of a complex congenital heart defect. All the while, he noticed how excited I was to witness his work, and he asked me about my future plans. I told him about my interest in cardiology and coronary artery disease. He acknowledged that, but suggested that coronary artery disease management is rather monotonous and that congenital heart disease might be more exciting as there are some 100 different structural defects that each child manifests differently. That was the first of many meaningful moments in my medical career. I solidified my interest in pediatric cardiology and intern, where another very supportive mentor suggested that I leave Chicago and head to the University of Minnesota to train where the very first heart operations of children were performed in the 60s and a Dr. James Locke was doing angioplasty in children for the first time to open narrow valves and vessels without surgery. Although I was so excited to take this next step, I do remember my mother's concern that I was already away from home for 10 years and now was heading further west towards Alaska. <laughs> but the right move it was, as the mentoring of Dr. Locke taught me so much about the care of children with complex heart defects. And now, it is really hard to believe that medical school was 30 short years ago. As Confucius said, find a job you love and you never work a day in your life. I want to thank my family for allowing me to pursue my interests and dreams in the practice of pediatric cardiology. Time with one's family is precious, especially during this time of the year, and goes by so quickly. But my wife and children always understood what it meant when daddy was stuck at the hospital and missed another dinner, or a soccer game, or maybe a dance recital. All of you here tonight are highly successful, enjoy your careers very much. 
Similarly, the work we do in pediatric cardiology, although demanding, is very rewarding. This time of year is especially rewarding, receiving notes from across the country from patients and families we have cared for. I want to especially thank my partners, Dr. Mitchell Alpert and his wife, Debbie, Dr. Elsa Castro, and our expert practice manager, who probably works harder than we do, Sue. We serve all of Monmouth and Ocean County and have established the largest and busiest practice in the state. Congenital heart defects, unfortunately, remain the most common birth defects and the number one cause of birth-related deaths. However, after an acute intervention with a successful surgery or angioplasty at birth, we have the joy of following our young patients throughout their childhood. The newly developed program in adult congenital heart disease, similar to the hospice program being an extension of the wonderful work the home health nurses do, is a natural extension of our work as the mortality for patients born with a heart defect has fallen from 20% 30 years ago to just 3% over the last 30 years. There are currently more than 1 million patients older than 18, like our friend Paul, with repaired heart defects, and some of you are here tonight. I want to thank all of you again for finding time in your busy holiday schedules, for being here tonight to support the VNA and the hospital program. I hope all of you have a joyful holiday and a healthy and happy new year. Now let's kick off the holiday season with dinner and dancing. And as our PJ, our treasurer, will say, uh, please get out your wallets to support the silent auction <laughs> and the hospice program. Thank you.